Um, was the time on red? Hmm, I'm not sure. So can I agree we need to play this safe? Yeah. <clears throat> so good morning this afternoon. Thank you for joining us this evening. Tonight. <laughs> if this is the first time on our channel, this is Mwalimu Amao. And here we handle mathematical problems and also the mathematics of creativity. So remember to uh, like our page, subscribe, and also turn the notification bell so that you'll be the first one to be notified once we release our videos. Okay, so let's get down to work. Now, one of the most challenging things for every person, let's say in the when you're starting the career, even when you're growing, is how to handle interviews. And so how do you apply creativity in interviews? Um, there are two things you need to remember. Number one, an interview is an exam. Yeah, that, that should never escape your mind that an interview is an exam. And so you should handle it as such. And so the two things that you need to discuss, and one we shall discuss in this video, another one in another video, there are two things you need to, first of all, have a very clear understanding. Number one is the mindset of the interviewer or the mindset of the examiner. And number two is the syllabus that is being considered, okay? So let's discuss the first one. Now, which is the laziest part of the body? The laziest part of the body, if I may ask. Which is the laziest part of the body? It is a brain. Uh, interesting, eh? <laughs> now, you need to know that the, the laziest part of the body is a brain, and this includes your examiner or your interviewer. And so, when you're going for an interview, you need to fully understand who the mindset of the interview. This is a person who has sat down maybe for several weeks to really understand what the kind of a person they want in that job. And so they already have a set mind, like in a box. They want a person who looks like this, like this, like this, like this. They already know. And so their task is when you come, is to tick those boxes very fast and go on, on to other things. So you really need to understand that job description that they have put, whether on the newspaper or online. And so if there are keywords, those, those are the things that you need to circle. So that any question you asked, you make sure that these words keep surfacing. Keep, if you want someone with a, a professional, let's say, 15 years in experience or creativity, innovation, so you want someone who is a leader, so that you make sure those things keep coming up. Remember, these, these are people with their mind is in a box. And so you need to keep on mentioning those keywords so that they tick those. If someone asks you, for instance, tell us about yourself. This is, not, this is not the time to remind them your name. They already have it. It's not time to tell them how old you are. They can confirm it. This is a time to try and weave a story across your CV in the words that they expect. For instance, you may say, um, uh, let me use myself as an example. Um, considering that my age is in entrepreneurship, I would say, from the time I completed high school to date, I have been involved in solving problems across whether it's where I work, whether it's in the church, whether it's in my community. And a good example is a project I started. You know, so if if I stop at that point, you have already mentioned a couple of things which are very important, but you have weaved them creatively. And so it's very important for you to understand the mindset of an examiner and that it is fixed and that it is lazy. Okay. And now, if you find that you're still not able to handle creativity well, hmm? interviews well, you need to look for me because um, I've come up with um, a new um, dose. No, 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 you carry a person. So what we need to do is uh, you need to get in touch with us and then uh, we give you a dose. Maybe not much. It's highly concentrated. Okay. So look for us. We have something for you which will help you. See you soon.